Hey fellas, welcome. How are you doing, Paul? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Hi. Well, welcome. Hi. So, it's good to have you guys here. Thank you for having us. No worries. Have you seen any falling boats? Yes. I watched a bit American Scout when I was younger, when Alinki was there. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. It was quite popular in Switzerland. There are enemies now. <laughs> cool so from bit. the last race, so when you, you next race, what's the gap? Three, is it three years? So th again, this is a crazy thing. Like whoever wins can decide where it is, when it is, what boats it's in. Right. So, so, it, so no, they could say in two years' time. Yeah. But there's the the way it works. Like whoever wins, the they're stacked with an advantage because you're writing the rules. You're saying where it is. You're yeah. saying when it is. So it's, that's kind of what makes it so. Uh, it's incredible because so I don't know any other sport. You know, the winner could to completely dictate yeah, yeah. the terms. It's incredible to think you've got a pre-plan. Like say, right, should be windy. Yeah. Over the last ten years, it's been. Yeah. Well, that's, really that's the scariest thing. Like in January, mate, we made an area decision for racing in September, and like the the whole design was, I guess, the final decisions were made over twelve months ago. So, so we have a, a, a band, I think it's only 25 kilos, we have to fit, the eight of us on board have to fit between. Oh, from a regulation yeah. point of view. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Because the, the more weight you put on there, the more writing moment the boat gets, so the faster it goes. Yeah, we're, we're the complete opposite. I'd, <laughs> I'd like the phone call at Winter saying we need to put a couple of kilos yeah, yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot into the interpretation of the rules as well, because there's areas that aren't super clear, and uh, there's a lot of effort put into that to that try to explore like the sport. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what the, the teams are trying to do, exploit the grey areas and yeah. you know, take every advantage possible. I want in Harry get involved. Harry's one of the one of the hey, other drivers. Hi Harry, how are you? I'm Harry. He's, uh, He's, you're all mic'd up, aren't you, on the boat? So, so the four of us sailing the boat are all mic'd up because we have comms with each other yeah. a lot. And then we have four guys on the on the big boat that produce the power. And they they don't use the communicate with us but they communicate with the f with the four of them. So yeah this is the helmet that we wear every day. It's just a standard POC helmet and we use the Riedel comm systems um, which is just over the ear earphones and then a microphone on the end here and we can just the mic is always open so we can just talk and the people on the boat that we're sailing with pick it up and everyone that's listening whether it's on chase boats or on shore potentially can hear us all the time. We also have a race comms feature on the top here, which allows us to talk to the other boats or the race organizers while we're sailing. Is that for to speak to the other boats, you know, for example, because I know from what I've seen, you guys cross a lot. It's more to coordinate the racing. So we're like, okay, we're going to start a race. If, if like informally, if we're, okay, let's hook up here and we'll do a couple of practices without it being organized. But then it's like once the, once the guys are starting the race and if, we, if we're not ready or, or you can give the other guys banter if you're, uh, if you're giving them a cuffing. <laughs> oh, you can. But that's one thing we don't have with a race car, I have to say, but I'd, I wish we did. For us, it's carbon fiber helmets now. Um, design like yourself is up to, up to us. But we also run a, an intercom system that's direct to the engineer. We can only talk to the engineer um, and then we allow probably two or three people within the team to speak back to us. Yeah. I'd, I'd certainly like to be able to talk to other competitors on track. <laughs> right. So you have, you have like an array of visors. They, these ones look pretty dark. Is, there, is, there, is that just personal preference or? I usually drive with it open. Oh yeah? So, yeah. Most of us have come from single seaters where you run it down. But uh, for me in a closed cockpit car, I don't like looking through a visor and yeah. another screen. So for like in a 24 hour race, sunrise and sunset, the sun's directly so we'll run, you might run the visor down then. So you would all run typically a dark visor, partly because it looks better, to be quite honest. Um, but then, you know, at them times of day, you would run it down. So now we've, uh, we've talked about it, do you guys fancy going and having a go in the simulator? Come and see what it's about. Absolutely. Nice. Come on, let's have a go. Hey, guys. Hey, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You guys want to come and check out the AC40 sim? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Brent and I will hop in and uh, set you up for trimming. So right now it's more for a
Yeah. Nice. All right. So you guys have uh, practiced this in the simulator. You want to get ready to go out on the water and see what the real boats are like? Yeah. It's yeah. going to be good to see how the professional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, let's guys. Do it. Thank you very much for teaching us. We really appreciate it. Just want to say good luck for the Women's Americans Cup and also the Youth Americans Cup. I hope you do a better job than we did. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. guys. Oh, thank good you. luck this weekend. <laughs> Not the same, or? I didn't knew too much about sailing, but I started to like it. And it's really similar in ra to racing in a lot of points, but um, yeah, it's a poor uh, hard sport with a lot of team effort and it's interesting to see. For sure I will watch the Americans Cup. So see you on Sunday at the race. I hope we can impress you. Just for you to have an idea, like yeah. this, take it like this, uh, yeah. we are here. Okay, we are going this direction. Yeah. As long as you don't want me to drive the... No, 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 no. <laughs> I wouldn't allow you, okay? I've raced all my life for 30 years, so that's enough. This is a very demanding corner because it's off camera. As you can see now, it changed the camera. Yeah. See? The it's hard the most one. difficult, yeah, yeah. as I told you, because it's off camera. As you can see, it's very difficult because you go out and you immediately have things you see. Ah, yeah. Oh. That destroys the cars, the race cars, if yeah. you get it wrong. That was awesome, thank you very much. Ah, it's a pleasure. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you very much. Thank you very much, and yeah, good, nice luck, good luck today. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.